Hello, and welcome back to Amnesia Memories. Last time we were here, we almost got hit by a car. <laughs> and we were saved by, surprise, surprise, Ukyo, aka Crazy Face. Let's see where that will possibly lead us, and but actually hope that it's not a lead to the bad end, because honestly, that's just kind of mean. Honestly? No, why did you save me? I'm... I'm curious. It's not like I'm not grateful. Why? That's hard to explain. Do you really need a reason to help someone? I mean, in your case, <laughs> yeah. And besides... Besides what? Nothing. I'm really glad you're safe. Seems like you're not particularly hurt, but if you did get hit, the delayed reaction might get it to start hurting later on, so be careful. You live alone, right? If any in injuries start to bother you tonight, be sure to be sure to contact someone. Huh? How does Ukio know that you live alone? He keeps surprising us. Keep surprising you. I thought you and Ukio didn't know each other that well, but it seems like you guys talked before. If you feel strange later, be sure to call the ambulance or a friend and go to the hospital, okay? Ain't gonna happen. Don't hold it in or overexert yourself. Do you have any friends that can come by right away? If I said no, are you gonna hurt me? Technically, yes. I think Sawa would be totally willing willing to come over if if we called. So, yes. I see. Then if something happens, be sure to contact that person. Don't under don't underestimate how you're feeling. Got it? Hmm. I do feel like he worries too much, but Ukyo seems like a good guy. He's really nice. But I still can't quite figure out the nature of your relationship with Ukyo just yet. I wonder. Was he an old classmate of yours? Or a very distant relative or something? Come to think of it, when we first met, I came to rescue you too. Well, I guess I didn't really rescue you, per se. Do you remember that time? What? Hey, don't just suddenly ask us major questions like that. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I remember, um... I don't remember. I see. That's unfortunate, but I guess I can't help it. Don't worry about it. You should have remembered, but maybe it's a side effect of... or something. Wait, what? What did he just say? I couldn't hear. Anyways, I'll be on my way. Be careful on your way home. Be sure not to get in another accident. Bye. Oh, he's going home, huh? If he's so worried, why doesn't he just walk you home? Do you really want that, Orion? Well, if he did, that'd be another problem. I wouldn't know what to talk to him about. But I felt like we could have asked him a few more questions. That's too bad. Hey, wait, we're lost. Hey, Ukyo, can you take us home? <sighs> I'm tired. I'm so glad we got home safe. But thanks to getting lost, we were able to figure out the city. I guess that was a blessing in disguise. But man, today was a close call. Not about secretly gla gathering information. I'm talking about the accident. If Ukyo didn't save you, I think the car would have hit you full on. I'm surprised that Ukyo happened to be there at that moment. 
I wonder if he lives around here. If that's the case, that'd make more sense. Yukio's just a stalker. It's morning. I'm so sleepy. I couldn't sleep well because I was tossing and turning all night, so I'm super tired. Honestly, I suck at waking up early and sleeping early. Same. Since my master isn't around much, I used to have a lot more free time than the other spirits. Oh, when I say my master, I mean the one who made me. I guess he's a god. He hasn't come back in a while. I wonder where he went. Lord... N nil Nil? Nil. <laughs> Jeez, he really has to stop wandering around so much. I guess I shouldn't be venting to you about these problems. Let's get ready and head to work. Jeez. Is it like raining or something? <laughs> What's going on? Hmm, maybe we got here too early. But it's kind of nice to have a lot of time to just settle in. I wonder what this sound is. I've been hearing water. I wonder if someone left the water on. Good morning, V. Huh? Hmm, he seems a bit bummed out, don't you think? I have bad news. Unfortunately, we'll have to close the cafe for today. I am super off with Waka, Kent's, Iki's voice. I can only get like the others because it's a little easier to remember. What? Why? The water pipes are broken. From the water leak from the other day, it seems like a water pipe burst. After I fixed the kitchen yesterday, the water had nowhere else to go and spilled out all over the floor. What? Currently, the flood is above floor level at the 20 centimeter mark. It's only getting higher. Higher? So with... So with that said, I've called in professionals to repair the water pipe and begin cleaning up the mess. I feel bad since you've come all the way here, but that's our situation at the moment, so please go home for today. For today. I must contact Sawa. She might already be on her way. For times like these, am I supposed to call the fire department or city hall? I wouldn't think it's the fire department. Wait, is it? Man, I don't even know. If it's 20 centimeters deep, it's like a mini pool. I wonder if we can open it up tomorrow. Man, now we don't have anything to do. What should we do today? Do you want to walk around? Not too far, just in the area. Huh? Hmm. Oh. Hello, we meet again. Oh, it's Ukio. What a coincidence. Wait, actually, he probably just came by to visit the cafe again. Are you on your way to work? Oh, there seems to be a poster on your door. Due to a flood, we will be closed today. Flood? Oh, that's right. The water pipes broke, huh? Wait. How did he know all that just by looking at this sign? It's pretty sharp, this one. Well, I guess I can't visit today. I suppose I can come another day. So anyways, were you already a were you alright yesterday after we split? Were you alright? Me? I'm fine. As you can see, no scars at all. Thank you for your concern. I'm pretty happy. It's been a while since someone's worried over me. 
Well, I've confirmed that you're safe, so I guess I can buy lunch somewhere and go home. You're about to go back too, right? Man, you've come all the way to work to find out the cafe was closed. That must be rough. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, he's going home. What should we do? Stop him? Invite him over to your place? Would you like to come over and have easier access to murder me? You're going home? Yeah, since the cafe's closed, I kind of want to head back early today. I haven't finished cleaning up after my move. I moved here last month, but I just never seem to have the time. Moved? So, Ukyo isn't originally from around here? I can walk you... I can walk you near your place, up to the incline in the road. Don't you think it looks like the place where we first met? You know, the incline that leads to the museum? It seems like you may have forgotten. You see, we met in Co... Kobe? Kobe? <laughs> in March. I was still a new photographer and you had just graduated from high school. You came to visit Kobe... <laughs> on your graduation trip and got lost. I happened to bump into you then and, and showed you the way back. That was when you and I first met. We reunited four days ago. I started a summer job at a publishing house here, so I moved from Kobe to the city. And I bumped into you by chance in front of that university. Going into the cafe where you worked was a coincidence, too. Yeah. Sure. Coincidence. I didn't know any places around here, so I walked in the first one I saw, and you happened to be working there. We met by chance and reunited by chance. That has been the history between you and me. Th thank you for that helpful explanation. It's kind of suspicious, but okay. <laughs> you seem like you don't remember. I didn't think you'd forget. So if this happened because of rewinding, have you only forgotten me, or...? Huh? Rewinding? Did somebody say something about rewinding? Wait, what did you just... That sounded like somebody just threw a dagger. Watch out! The universe wants me dead. But I refuse. Was that a potted plant just now? Where did that come from? We're standing in the middle of the road. Are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Are you okay? Forget about me. I wouldn't die from something like this. But I worry about you. If this heavy plant fell on your head, you would have been in real trouble. I have a hard head. I pride myself in that. I'm so glad you're safe. But this is... Also, just kidding. I'm very soft and squishy. I'm sorry, but do you think you can take off from work tomorrow? I don't want you to... I don't want you to come with me. Do you think you can? I want you to come with me. Do you think you can? What is he talking about? This long-haired man. He's making absolutely no sense. Well, even so, considering the state of the cafe, I'm sure you wouldn't have work anyways, but... What do you think? I don't know about that. <laughs> I see. I don't blame you. Sorry for the in Sorry for the sudden invite. I wanted to check on I wanted to check something out, but I think it's just paranoia on my part, so just forget about it. Anyways, this is goodbye now. My house is that way. I'll drop by the cafe again. Goodbye. Hmm. Sounded like he knew something. Maybe we shouldn't have declined. Well I guess there's no point in stressing about something that happened already. I'm sure we'll see him again. Hmm. Part of me wants to go back. 
I don't know. Home sweet home. Hmm? Do you hear that? Oh, yourself. The manager just called me. Apparently the cafe flooded, so we'll be closed tomorrow. It'll open up again the day after. What do you think he meant by flooded? Ah, thought so. It says the cafe will reopen the day after tomorrow, but I wonder if everything can be repaired by then. Morning. What a beautiful day. It is a nice day, but it does seem a little chilly for August. I wonder what will happen here during winter. Maybe mankind will freeze to death. It is currently 12. You sure did sleep a lot. What should we do today? No work? No plans? Why don't we go walk around there? We can even walk towards the college area. I mean, it's pointless to be holed up in the house, so let's go outside. I refuse. I nearly died like twice already. <laughs> and one was for sure, was for sure death. I wonder if he came around this place a lot. Do you remember anything? Can you remember? I guess it's hard to try. I guess it's hard to try out of the blue. But I feel like you can find some kind of trigger that will spark up your memories. I wonder if our approach is wrong. Maybe we're being too casual about it. I need to grab a motorcycle and zoom around the neighborhood. Hmm. Hey, we should just go all crazy and just talk to every person we can possibly... Wait, what? Huh? Run! We're going to get crushed! Well, I was wondering. <laughs> Hurry and go over the- Whoa! I was struck suddenly by something heavy, followed by even more piling on top of me. A car, a truck, a big metal pillar, chunks of concrete. Without even knowing what was happening, I- Sorry. Do you think you can take a day off of work tomorrow? Or else you might die. That one's on me. <laughs> Literally. Okay, you know, I should have more trust. I should have more faith in you, Ukyo, but. It's kind of hard sometimes. There I did. There's one time I did, and he pushed me well. Just kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Can't trust you all that much. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Sorry for inviting you out so suddenly. There's something I want to confirm, if you don't mind. Tomorrow, let's say around 1 p.m., I'll come by and pick you up. Anyways, my place is that way, so I'll see you tomorrow. Be careful on your way home. I wonder what he wants to check. I guess we don't have to worry about Ukyo figuring out that you have amnesia or anything, but... Seems like he's just saying random things and randomly being satisfied. He's hard to figure out. I can't explain it, but he has this really odd vibe about him. Forget about the amnesia or whether we can trust him or not. I'm curious about what's going on in his mind. Well, we're going to see him tomorrow, so let's try talking to him a little more. Morning. What a beautiful day. It is a nice day, but it does seem a little chilly for August. What will happen here during the winter? Maybe mankind will, can't, my, mankind will freeze to death. It's currently 12, and you sure did sleep a lot. Didn't Ukyo say he would visit around 1? Shouldn't you get ready soon? 
Wait, did he say he'd pick you up? Then that means that Ukiyo knows where you live. I wonder if he's ever walked you home before. And I wonder what he's talking about wanting to check something. And I wonder if he's realized that you have amnesia. Oh well, there's no point in pondering over all this now, so let's just get ready. If Ukiyo is who we're de if Ukiyo is who you're dealing with, you don't need to get all nervous or anything, so let's just be casual. Didn't Ukiyo say yesterday that he would pick you up around one? Should be should you be waiting here? It's almost one and he's not here yet. Oh, there he is. Hmm, you were waiting here for me? I thought you would be inside. I thought I was here I thought I was here earlier, but it seems like I made you wait. Sorry. Thought I was here early. So, what should we do today? Anywhere you'd like to go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Of course, you'd be confused if I said something like that since I'm the one that invited you. Well, hmm. Why don't we take a walk? I'd like to take some pictures, too. I want to ask you something. Have you ever almost been run over by a train around here before? Yes. What? As far as I know, the answer is no, but have you almost been run over by a train before? I'm... I think so, so I'm gonna say yes. What? Really? If that's the case, then maybe it's already begun. I'll try to stay away from railroad tracks as much as possible, especially during August. God knows what'll happen. Why don't we go that way? You can see the Arakawa fireworks from around here, right? Pretty sure I made his voice higher before, but I can't quite remember. And if I get too high, it feels like I'm sounding like Orion. Hey, wait. The fireworks haven't happened yet, have they? But I can't picture him having anything but a softer voice. And I have heard his voice before, and it's pretty high. <laughs> I think later on, I'll... In, I think, the mini-games, I'll put on the voices so you can actually hear what they sound like. I used to want to take photos of fireworks, but lately I haven't been feeling the same urge. Has anyone invited you to the fireworks show this year? I guess not. And if someone were to, it wouldn't be for a while, huh? Hmm. All of that is getting hazy. I have to try and remember more clearly. Don't worry, because I can't remember Jack. Car seems to be alright. I guess it's not a problem here. Oh, I'm sorry. I talk to myself a lot. Let's go. Same. Actually, it does us a whole lot of good that he talks to himself like this. Oh well, why don't we just follow him? Hey, this is a college too. This isn't your college, is it? This is a university that Iki and Kent attend, I believe. Hmm, I wonder if Kent is still a math nut. He occasionally visits your university to substitute teach, doesn't he? I guess not this time around. What? Really? Did you know? Rather, can you remember? Ukiyo, you're killing me. I don't know. Wait, you know those two, right? Why are you not that close with them? Uh, I see. Maybe I'm mistaken. Wait, why are we at the hospital? Is someone hospitalized? Why are we at the hospital? Huh, I must have made a mistake. I thought I had to figure something out here. I guess not, but she did visit here often, or at least eventually she does. And that means if something happens. Hey, have you been visiting the hospital a lot lately? Never be too sure. Nope. I see. 
Well, I guess it's best to not come here for any reason. Well then, let's go. Not much else to do here. Sorry for taking you to these random places. Are you tired? Oh no, is there a well here? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. We walked way too much. I know we're not hiking uphill or anything, but come on. Ugh, what is he thinking making a girl walk all over the place like this? Ah, uh, Uki has been taking pictures of things here and there, so I guess he's satisfied with the day so far. Wait here, I'll go buy us something to drink. Oh, that's right. This shrine has a well on that corner over there. Be sure not to go near it. It's dangerous. You better believe I'm not going by that well. A well, huh? When he puts it that way, it makes me wonder. Do, are we seriously right next to the well right now? Um, hmm. Can't see inside at all. It's dark. Why are we next to the well? <laughs> I know. Why don't we throw something in... Like ourselves? Huh? I'm falling? V. Grounded is unsteady. It's dangerous. Uh, uh, are you alright, V? That was a close one. Stupid all. Why'd you go near the well? I thought this would be safe enough, but I'm glad I rushed back. If you fall down that well, you won't survive. The bottom is filled with mud and mold and water, so once you fall down, you can't climb back up. It's slippery and it's steep. Any more and you would have fallen right in. Are you scared? I don't know. I don't understand feelings. I'm fine. I, for a brief moment, I thought you pushed me, but... It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. You're a tough one. I'm kind of a wuss, so I get really scared getting into dangerous situations. Now, this is the third time that I've saved you from a dangerous situation. So in the past few days, as far as I know, you've been close to death three times. Don't you think that's a bit too much? The universe hates me, what can I say? Yeah, but... Things falling, a car accident, this well, uh, an explosion... Uh, the, the glass in my body uh, being crushed by the 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 highway. <laughs> I live a dangerous life, and the universe despises my very existence. These are all things that could have happened and possibly taken your life. If it was just twice, it could have been a coincidence, but three times is uncanny. At first I was doubtful, but after spending this time with you, I'm absolutely certain. This world is trying to kill you. Come at me, universe! <laughs> what? If our, or rather, his premonitions are correct, it will be faced with a number of life-threatening events just like today. Who's his? What do you mean by his? From now on, I'll try my best to tell you how to evade these situations, so I want you to listen to me carefully, so that you can safely survive past the month of August. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Why are you, what are you talking about? And what does he know? Who's him? What is with this mysterious person that I don't know? Can he see into the future? That's impossible. Even the god I know can't tell the future. I wonder if he's just off his rocker. Or is he just watching your reaction and enjoying himself? Orion, seriously? I died twice. And then I died almost. I almost died three more times. He seems pretty... That seems pretty likely. Oh, but he actually did save you three times. My question isn't so much, can you predict the future, and more so, who the heck are, were you talking about? Why did you say his premonitions? 
It's not that I can see the future, I just know what is about to happen. Because I've experienced those events. Don't have to believe me, but I'm just asking you to heed my warnings, even just a little bit. This summer, until August is through. Sorry for telling you a bunch of weird things today. I hope you don't feel upset. I wish I could have talked to you about more fun things, but I'm sorry. Our life is filled with suffering and misery. I might be giving you some more warnings in the near future, but aside from those moments, you can forget about me. I mean, how am I supposed to forget considering what you're trying to do? Yeah, it is a pretty sunset. I wonder if I told you before. The first picture I ever took was a picture of the sky. When I was still in elementary school, I took my father's camera without permission. I went outside hoping to take pictures of the flowers in the yard and my dog. Yo. That is a good choice. But I realized that my shoes were untied. And then I knelt down to tie my shoes, picked up my camera again, and looked up and there was a sky. It was a bright blue sky, not a single cloud. It was so beautiful. And that's when I thought, everyone takes pictures of people or the environment, but maybe there isn't anyone who just takes pictures of the sky. And you know, taking pictures of the sky is really nice, especially when you see it and it turns like this really deep red and you're just like, that's kind of spooky. So I took a photo of the sky with my father's camera, just that vast blue. And that is how my life of taking photos started. I found out later that there are actually a ton of photography books that only have pictures of the sky. When I was a child, I thought that I was the first person to come up with the idea and I felt pretty proud. As all children should. So when I found out about the... I mean, if a kid knew that all of the things is already made up, I'd be really surprised considering you were just made how do you know all these things I don't trust you so when I found out about those photo collections I was quite shocked I stopped taking photos of the sky after that I mean the sky is never the same but recently I've come to realize when I'm looking up at the sky though I can't leave anything behind or bring anything with me the summer sky looks so beautiful no matter where I go. It never changes. So when I'm looking up the sky, I feel a sense of peace. Let's get going. Sorry for rambling. Come on, V. <gasps> He's beautiful. Oh my god. It's getting cold, so let's go home. I'll walk you back. Look at him in his weird, like, taxi hat. Diamondy stuff. He's so beautiful. And even though his hair is green, which isn't white, and it's not it's not the green that I like, but he's still he pulls it off. He's just too good. Look at his beautiful, beautiful hair. Oh, sorry. Just having you next to me, I wasn't thinking. Old habits die hard, I guess. Habits? He holds your hand as a habit? Eyebrows rise into the sky and fly off. It's as if life it's as if life here, with you being right alongside him, is something natural, don't you think? I've already used up all of the save files. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start saving over. Have we held hands before? Yeah, we have. Or should I say we used to? That's right. I used to walk down this path countless times holding your hand. Ah! Ah, feelings and memories! I never thought I'd see you again like this. I'm glad I came this way. Yeah, I'm really glad. Oh, and one more thing. When we first met in March... Me? Hey, what's the matter? Ah, 
I'm hit. I'm getting hit by feelings of how cute he is. No! It wasn't supposed to be like this. Why did you stop? Did you gain a memory? No, right? If you did remember something, I would know. Well, I've been remembering a lot of things, and you haven't noticed. Let's go. I need to be careful not to go near you so thoughtlessly. <laughs> Baby, come back! Ah! Hey. What did you think about today? I do feel like what Ukyo is saying is a little odd. Then again, it feels kind of wrong to laugh it off. Since he did save you, I don't think he has any ill feelings towards you. It's almost as if Ukyo knows about a world with other possibilities. Says the person who fourth wall breaks. Oh, sorry. You wouldn't know what a world of other possibility means, huh? Excuse you, I do. Well, to put it simply... A world of possibilities refers to a parallel world. We spirits don't have a body, but we can travel to various worlds. Well, more like we're able to move from one world to another that exists in parallel. But I can only move just like a normal person moves. I can't know all the infinite worlds at the same time. Or my head would explode. Well, maybe a high-level spirit might, but I'm a mid-tier spirit, so I can't. I only know this world, and I don't know what happened or is happening in other worlds. But if he's familiar with the space between worlds, it wouldn't be odd if he knew what happened in other worlds, right? So if Ukyo is a top-tier spirit, that would sort of put his actions in a more understandable light. But he looks like a human. He's not a spirit. And besides, even if... Even if Ukyo was a top-tier spirit and was able to recognize other worlds, it's impossible to predict a future. The worlds have their own unique time-time... time-time axes. Time axes. Axes that burst through time. Alright, I just convinced myself. Ukyo isn't a spirit, nor can he predict the future. He's just a weirdo. Wow, Orion. Sorry for getting off on a tangent. Now that we got that out of our system, good night. Your logic doesn't make sense. Good night. Beautiful. Sorry, I fell asleep. You were looking for me, right? Sorry. Man, this isn't good. I have to be supporting you. Uh, you have work today, right? I wonder if Ukiyo is going to come again. Well, first things first. I wonder if the cafe is okay. Has the flood situation been dealt with? Wow, they fixed it already. This is perfect. It looks exactly the same. Oh, good morning. Hey, did you hear about that? Did you hear about that accident? Accident? The bullet train loop collapsed. Oh! It was a bullet train. I thought it was like those highways that are like built up a little higher. Forgive me, I don't remember words. <laughs> it's the high highway. The bullet train... The bullet train loop collapsed, you didn't hear? Good morning, Mine. Good morning, V. Good morning. What Mine was just talking about is the accident on the circular route on Route 5. I was very surprised as well. The circular route collapsed, and a dump truck that had been parked there fell along with a bridge gr bridge gritter. Gritter? I almost said grinder. Parked? So the car wasn't running? Supposedly, it was almost out of gas and stopped. 
The driver had gotten off and was smoking or something. Because he was a ways from the car, the driver was safe. Oh. Wow, he was really lucky. I'm sure he was a great citizen with good karma. That goes for you guys as well. That overhead construction is near your places, right? I was worried that you two were involved. I was. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm fine. Forget about that. I'm surprised the water pipes are fixed. I was expecting this place to be much worse. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. I get dizzy every time I remember yesterday. I pumped all the water out, wiped the floor down with a rag, disinfected it, and turned on the dehumidifier at full blast to wick away the moisture. I replaced the upholstery, got rid of all of the bad furniture, brought in new ones, bought new electronics, and I even replaced the damaged floorboards. It was a major overhaul. Dang. I was a little stressed out, worrying about what would happen if I couldn't finish in a day. <laughs> um... Who helped you with all that work? Did you hire new staff? I did it all myself. Like the magic man he is. What? Oops, it's almost time to open. I must get ready. Everybody chop chop. He's kidding, right? I hope so. Ah, uh, he's not. <laughs> well, I guess it's about time for us to work, too. Whoa, our first customer already. Huh? Good morning. Yesterday was nice, so I'm here for breakfast. His beautiful hair. The coloration looks different. Actually, it's more so the tips of his hair. I don't, I don't know if I can... Yeah, I don't want to click anything because I feel like I'm going to end up doing something that's going to cause me to skip. The, the coloration more near the tips of his hair is the green that I like. Though, it's not as bad as I thought. For some reason, I thought it was like an uglier green. Welcome home, Master. Would this seat be alright for you? Sure, thanks. I'd like some toast and a coffee. As you wish, Master. He's here already. I wonder. I thought dealing with Ukyo would be easy, but it hasn't been so far. As strange as we are, he is too, if not more so. It's been a bit hard dealing with him. Oh, so you don't dislike digital cameras, either. Well, there are some professionals that despise them, but I personally don't mind. Digital cameras these days are pretty well made and easy to carry around. So the good thing about them is that you can take photos whenever you want, at least that's what I think. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. I didn't expect that insight. Oh, don't take this as a general consensus. I feel like my way of thinking is a bit unconventional. Seems like our manager and Ukiya are hitting it off. They seem to be having fun. I wonder if our manager likes cameras or something. Oh, another customer. Yo, working hard? Morning. You seem to be up and at him. What? Why are they here? Eh. Get out of here. I've got this. Don't worry about it. Welcome home, masters. Whoa. Well, I guess you really are into it. I always... I always see you do this, but the fact that you're saying it to me makes me feel weird. Actually, I feel pretty weird watching her saying it to other customers, too. I think that's not you feeling we're weird, but more annoyed. 
Oh, you guys are here again? You two sure like to eat here. What gives? We just happened to pass by, so we just thought to drop in. Are we in the way? Are you guys busy? Oh, not at all. Will this table be alright with you? Thank God Mine was with us. I didn't know Shin and Toma ate here a lot. Probably just to see the MC in a freaking maid outfit. Need time to enjoy. Just take it all in. It's so weird to visit the place where you work as a customer. It must They must really like this place. It seems like it's a really good place. I wonder how expensive it would be. V, do you have a moment? Hmm? Ukyo would like to pay his bill. Do you think you can work the register? I smash my hand onto the register, ignoring everything about it. 1,180 yen. 1,180 yen, right? Here you go. And also, you should keep your distance from them. What? <laughs> I already know I'm gonna keep my distance from Toma. Later. If you take one side, it won't be good, do you hear me? I'm sorry, Shin. But blame Toma. Was that a warning similar to yesterday's? And the two he's talking about are... Troublemaker number one and troublemaker number two. Hey. Stop with the lecturing. Why are you always treating me like a kid? Well, obviously, I don't like doing that either, you know? But you're a real handful. Hey, what do you mean by that? Shin, what you're about to put in your coffee isn't sugar. It's salt. I like my coffee salty. Dumps it all in. I got it wrong because you were talking. Yeah, you're right. Normally you wouldn't make a mistake. Ugh, you are annoying. Then don't invite me. Then don't invite me then. But that you do is what makes you adorable. Dude, when you say I'm adorable or cute, it makes me want to punch you. Oh yeah? It's a compliment though. Is he talking about them? They seem harmless enough. <laughs> I don't know their relationship with you from before, but I wonder what he means by not taking sides. You take Shin, and Toma's gonna get upset. You take Toma, he'll lock you in a cage. <laughs> hey V, you free on your next day off? Whoa, speak of the devil. Remember that concert you were saying you wanted to go to? If you're bored, I'll go with you. A concert you wanted to go to? Um, which one? You wouldn't know, would you? Oh, you invited her first, Shin? That's a bummer. You see, I thought I'd be bored that day, too. I was about to invite you to a movie. It's the last showing on that day, so I was just thinking that I barely made it by coming here to ask you. But if Shin was first, I'll let you go to that. I'll pass. What's up with that? What do you mean by pass? Why don't you let her decide? V, who do you want to go with? Eh, <laughs> neither. Hey, I'm asking you to decide. What are you going to do? Let's go to the concert first, then the movie. If this was before Shin's route, I would absolutely say, let's go to the concert first and then the movie. That's absolutely something I would say. But, Shin's route happened and I have no wants to be anywhere near Toma. <laughs> Sorry, I can't decide. Ah, uh, I guess I can't be helped. That's the kind of girl you are. Ah, uh, that's right. It was our bad for inviting you on the same day, sorry. Yeah, oh well. I'm sure there'll be another opportunity. Let's pretend that didn't that didn't just happen. Alright, got it. Jeez. 
Well, we'll be heading out now. Good luck with work. Later. We're home. Hey, about today? Ukyo. Remember he told you not to take sides? It was almost as if he knew that Shin and Tomo were about to invite you out on the same day. If I did take sides, I just, I, I almost want to know what's going to happen, but we'll go, we're going to end up doing that anyways. Because we've got to see all of the other stuff. I wonder. I wonder what that all means. Do you think it was a coincidence? If that's the case, there are too many coincidences surrounding Ukyo. I don't understand why you keep thinking it's coincidences still. I mean, it's obviously not. I don't think he can predict the future, though. But I guess it's pointless talking about this now. We won't have- we won't have any- <laughs> We won't have an answer, let's drop it. I wonder if Ukiya will visit the cafe tomorrow. Hmm. It's such a cutie pie. <gasps> Be this. <sighs> How are you feeling? You'll be switching out with Toma in five. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay. She's here. Don't worry. Hmm? What's going on? It's coming from over there. Huh? Oh, my, V. You're safe. It, 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 um. What? <laughs> um. Why? <laughs> I don't like this. This is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my, V, you're safe. You bad girl, you. I sent you a message and you didn't respond. I was so worried that you might have gotten in a real accident. Who is this person? And why do I feel so uncomfortable? Um, Rika? Let's stop right there. This is a restaurant, you know. My, excuse me. After finding out she was alright, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh. 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 The bullet train accident was near your house the other day. I was so worried. I got scared so I tried to get into contact with you and you didn't even respond. So I thought maybe you really were involved with that incident and my fears just got away from me. I don't like your concern. It's making me scared. I must calm down. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Is she like the embodiment of Santa Claus? Um, sorry, but is she your friend? Well, yes, sort of. She's not the type to respond right away, so I think it's pretty pointless to worry about something like that. And seriously, cut it out, or else. He's here! Excuse me, madam, you seem to be excited. Would it be alright if you followed me to the back? He's going in for the kill! My apologies. I was so excited I must have raised my voice unknowingly. I don't want to get in the way of everyone's work here, so I'll excuse myself for now. I'll see you again. Uh, someone needs to explain to me what the hell is going on. Um, you... Is it Sawa, and Mr. Manager? I have caused you two great... Great trouble. I sincerely apologize. I couldn't capture her. 
Well, she didn't cause too much trouble. I suppose I can let her go. He disappears into the shadows. Next time. There's not a single customer who has caused a ruckus. Got taken back and come back out to tell the tale. You should report that. She seriously was cutting it close. Glad she was safe. You'd better be careful, or you might be the next target. Thanks for your warning. I'll be careful. I wonder what kind of relationship we had with that person. Sawa, do you know anything about her? Seems like Rika and Sawa knew one another, but... I think the best choice... is... this one. Did you know Rika? Hmm. Didn't I tell you? On the day you had off, she came to visit Igi. And then she was saying stuff like, Oh my, is that... Is that girl not working today? I asked Iggy, but supposedly she's pretty she's pretty friendly with you, right? He said he often sees you two hanging out. <sighs> what is going on? What is this world? What is this world? I don't like it. You go out with that? Seriously? But seriously? That's truly a unique person. How can you even converse with her? And what's with that laugh? I guess when you're the president of the fan club, you need to be that impressive, or maybe you can't handle it. Fan club? What's that? Fan club for whom? Oh, a uh, customer's here. H hey, I want to know more. I want to know more! Ukyo, you have the answers. What is going on? Ukio, you came by again. Welcome home, master. Will this seat be fine for you? I just passed by Rika earlier. So this time you and she are friends, huh? So I guess you two aren't enemies all the time. Um... You should be as close as you can with Rika. Try your best not to get on her bad side. I don't even know if I want to be on her good side. I am so confused. What's going on? Um, Master? Master? Um, is this seat fine for you? He's saying gibberish again. But I guess he didn't say anything too weird this time. He just suggested that you... That you be friends with that crazy girl. But still, what kind of friend is Rika? And what fan club is she part of? I feel very uncomfortable about Rika. Ah, oh, so are these pictures of the city? Yes, I took these a few days ago. I made my rounds around the neighborhood. Ah, oh, this is interesting. A sparrow sleeping. Those are from the park. It was my first time seeing a sparrow sleeping, too. It might have had its guard down since it figured there weren't any... There weren't many enemies around. Oh, this is... Oh, that's... I see. So that is why you've been visiting this cafe for the past few days. Man, I had no intentions of sharing that. Sharing what? Let me see. It's a nice picture. Have you gotten approval from the subject? Please don't mention anything. That's, um... So you took the picture from afar? I had no intentions. Uh, I had no bad intentions, I promise. It was just a beautiful moment. I understand. You are a professional photographer. I suppose I can leave it at that. But I'm watching you. Thank you. Are you... are you after her? I think your leverage isn't too low. It's not like that. I'm in no position where I could do such a thing. I got, like, my ears perked up. <laughs> I hear the sound of somebody talking about something that I want in on. I wonder what those two are talking about. They're looking at a picture and talking, but I can't see the picture, so I don't know what it's about. There's no point in standing around here, so do you want to head into the kitchen? Didn't you have seen it, Orion? You could have just walked over there, or floated over, or whatever you do.
Well, come to think of it, didn't Rika just mention that she'd sent a message to your phone? We haven't been checking your phone much lately. Let's check it out. Hey, I heard that there, that there was a major accident near your house. I haven't heard from you in several days. You weren't involved in it, were you? Please respond whether you were, whether you were or not. I'm worried. <sighs> Who are you? Well, if you were involved, obviously you wouldn't be able to respond. And wow, I can hear her voice just reading her message. Is that common for people in this world? Well, forget her weird phrasing. She seems like she's genuinely worried about you. I guess she really is your friend. Oh, maybe you're part of this fan club that Rika's the president of. What if you and Rika are friends through the fan through the fan club? All I can think about is this fan club isn't about Iki anymore. It's actually about the MC. Hmm. It's starting to sound more convincing. The chestnut parfait is ready. Please carry it to table six. Whoa! Well, when did the manager come into the kitchen? Wait, was he making the parfait right next to you? I totally didn't notice. Silent and deadly. <laughs> oh, and this tea here will go to the customer at table 8. Please take care of it. Ah, oh, that scared me. She's very eccentric in a different sense than Ukyo. Parfait is good. And the tea goes to the table 8. Oh, it's Ukyo's table. Ukiyo must like that table. He's always sitting there. Ah, uh, thank you. Could you could you put it here? <laughs> I clicked too early. Whoops. Could you put it here? Darn, he already put away the photos he was looking at with the manager. That sucks. Oh, okay. I highly suggest you don't go towards the station today. Huh? I can't tell you the details, but a random assailant is near the station. You shouldn't go that way. An assailant? What does he mean? Oh, hey, a customer. Man, bad timing. Don't worry about me. Go serve your customer. What I just told you is everything I wanted to tell you. You must ref- You must refrain- You must refrain- I don't know why I'm having a hard time with that word. From going to the train station today, at least. Got it? You had a really nice day at work today. Good job. The night shift is finally over. Boy, are we tired. I'm so tired. So, I'm going to be direct. What did you think about Ukyo's statement about the random assailant? Remember? He was like, don't go near the station today. That part. We didn't have plans to go near there anyway, but... Do you believe in what Ukyo tells you? Not really, I said, and then immediately got hit by a, a meteorite in the shape of a toilet seat. I guess I do. I see. Honestly, I don't know what to think. I can't even imagine what Ukiyo knows. I mean, a random attacker coming out of nowhere? That's dumb. But it seems like Ukiyo is genuinely worried about you, so I guess there's no need to go to the station. Yeah, he is worried about you. Rather, he's worried a lot. Hey, I just noticed. Ukiyo's so worried about you, or at least he says he is, but he doesn't walk you home. I mean, even today, look how dark it is and you walked home all by yourself. And if he shows up at the cafe in the middle of the day, it's not like he's tied with anything. Seriously, he's so confusing. Oh hey, your cell's ringing. It sounds like it's a message. Hmm. Oh, it's from Toma. There is an incident at the station. Are you home? I hope nothing's wrong. News? Hey, turn on the TV now. Where a 28-year-old male was seen brandishing a survivor knife, injuring a passerby. The incident occurred around 7.15 p.m. The male, assail the male assailant cut a woman walking through the station. While the knife tore through her clothing, she suffered no injuries. The man was arrested on the spot. 
Currently, authorities are investigating possible motives. And in other news... Yeah, that lady got away with it, but if we went, it would have been like, the knife cut through everything in my body, just it doesn't matter how big the knife is, I was just cut in half. It's how much the world hates me. Wow, a random guy really did show. But look, no casualties, that's great. Hey listen, if he had gone out, it could have been a catastrophe. <laughs> Catastrophic. Yeah, not funny at all, sorry. I would be dead, Orion. What now, a phone call? The caller is- whoa, random number. Is someone calling from a payphone? Uh, d uh d forget it, just answer it. Oh, hey, are you safe? It's me, Ukio. Ukio? My cell ran out of battery, so I'm calling from a payphone. Did I surprise you? Hey, wait. So Ukio knows your phone number? When did he find out? Or did he know a long time ago? Hmm, you seem rather quiet. You are safe, right? You didn't go to the station, did you? Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm already near my place. Actually, I'm calling you from the payphone outside my apartment. You know, you don't have to worry about me. You just worry about yourself. But, yeah, thanks. That's all I want to say. Later. Hey, wait! Before you hang up, ask him why! How did you know? I already know how he knows. Why did you tell me? I'm still curious. Like, what's going on? <laughs> is he not the same? Is this, like, his- because this is his world, everything is different? Like... Uh, and the ex you know what I want to know? Third option. Well, what's going on with Rika? Rika and her not good accent. Uh, do you need a reason? Do I have to tell you why? I don't really have any reason. I just wanted to. I just wanted you to be alive. I want you to be as you are. If my wish could come true, I want you to continue not knowing. So I've been thinking about it since last night. The things that have been happening. Do you think Ukyo could have set it all up? Oh, oh, come on. What is up with that look? No, you think I'm wrong? It's kind of too elaborate. What would his purpose be? Well, the purpose is... Uh, see, to... To do whatever he wants with you. All the accidents and incidents that have been happening, as long as there's someone else cooperating, it could totally work. Oh, but that random attack yesterday would have been impossible. They already caught the culprit. But wait, what if Ukyo brainwashed the culprit to do it? Yeah, it's totally doable. It's ridiculous, Orion. Hey, wait. If he could do that, if he could do that much, he wouldn't do it in this roundabout way. He should brainwash you directly. Hmm, that sort of throws a wrench in that. But forget all that. He's creepy. He scares me. I understand that he's telling things that are all of a ben- That are- That are of benefit to you, but still. He's so mysterious and suspicious. I'm just confused. He seems like he doesn't mean any harm, but because he doesn't mean any harm, it makes it confusing and more scary in a way. Sorry. I want to back you up, but it's no good for me to panic like this. I need to cool down a little. You don't have work today, so we should just relax and- Oh! I don't think you replied to Toma's message from yesterday. 
It's not good to worry about him like Rika. Let's respond. The man, so many different people are worried about you. You don't seem to be that clumsy to me. You don't seem to be that clumsy to me though. Whoa, that surprised me. Did you just get a message? Who's it from? Whoa, no name. No work today, right? Are you free? If you're up for it, let's meet up at the park. Park marked on the map in a half an hour. Ukyo. Ukyo? He knows this address too? That he knows you're off today could mean that he dropped by the cafe, but he wants you... But he wants you to come to the location on the map. Hmm, what do you think? I'm still scared, but I do feel like you should go see Ukyo and at least talk to him. Oh, another message? Ignore my last message, don't leave your house, okay? What? Now I want to go! <laughs> What? What is he talking about? He tells you to come out, and then the next moment he's telling you to not leave the house? He's so random. So what are you going to do? Stay home? Or are you just going to head to the location on the map anyways? Uh, but now I gotta go. I mean, I've been listening to him this entire time, but like, I really have, I, I have to go now. There's something that has me compelled to go, so I'm gonna go. I want to see what happens. Got it. Then let's sneak our way over there. How will we die this time? If something happens, you can just come back fast. So, is this the location on the map? Hmm, nothing really looks apart. If it's just meeting up, he'd pick up somewhere else, right? He'd pick somewhere else. Huh? Something sat. B! This steel frame is fall. Whoa! B, watch out! The steel frames that came falling down smashed my right hand. Once I couldn't move, the rest severed. Severed my body. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't even move my left hand. I wanted to ask why. But my lungs had begun to stop. Instead of a voice, blood seeped out from between my lips. Oh, you're still breathing, poor girl. But you see, I need you to suffer. Despite this tragedy, I'm sure it's easier than if it were me, right? <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm a little confused. After every bad end, he's, I don't know if we're having like a flashback or he's there actually. It's super weird. A little confusing. Um, right now we have we have gotten three bad endings of quite a few. <laughs> the first one that we got was, ah, oh, it's no good. The second one was, can you take tomorrow off? And the one that we just saw was, you need to suffer this much at least. And... We've already had several where we, we didn't grab that we know of <laughs> the only one I can remember right now is the stabbing these are really brutal though <laughs> I can understand now I, I have a better understanding of why Ukyo was a little crazy face in everybody's routes because if if um, in the one with the well, I'm pretty sure he's he's been killing us based 
on stuff that he has suffered, and the wall was one of them, and I'm assuming all of these other ones that we've experienced is something he's experienced as well. So it's really understandable that he's gonna look cuckoo. Because who wouldn't? If you suffer that, you remember it. And here you are back again. And you're just, you're, you're trying to save someone, but you just keep suffering over and over. And if you're like in the other routes, you watch as that one person you've been trying to save is having happy fun times with somebody else. And here you are getting crushed by a bullet train. Sliced in half by a s steel plate thing. Stabbed by some random dude. Drowning in a well. I mean, somebody should really do something about that well. That, that thing is a hazard. In itself. The world... The universe doesn't need to try to be killing you to be for that well to be a hazard. That well is just a straight up hazard and they need to do something about it. Cover it up. Clean it. It's terrible. I think one of the ones I'm kind of curious about though, despite the fact that I would like to keep a very big distance away. I, I kind of want to know what Toma is probably going to do. If it's Shin that does it, I'm going to be surprised, but I am 99... 99.99% sure that Tomo would... lock you up and murder you if you choose to ignore Ukiyo's warning of not taking sides. I don't understand Toma at all. Just want to give Shin some love, but Toma's little ass wants to stick his nose into a place he does not belong. <sighs> I, I, I try not to mention him, but it's always going to come up there. Also, what is up with Rika? I really need to know. I hope they explain that one. I really need more information on Rika. Because... what... the hell... is going on? Hmm. Really makes you think, you know? Don't leave the house, you just sit there thinking. Thinking about everything you've been through. Don't understand. I hope you enjoy this one, because I'm having a fun time, despite what it may seem. It's very entertaining. I I, I think I think Ukiyo is really interesting, especially considering he was the mysterious character throughout the routes, threatening you and then being nice and then threatening you again. <laughs> Pushing you in a well. Interesting. Very, very compelling. Very compelling character. <laughs> I hope you like this one and that you have a good day and a good night. I'll see you in the next one where we will most likely run into death once more in another horribly brutal way. Bye-bye.